All right, I am. Um, I'm enjoying this. It's good. Isn't it? It's good. Uh, we've actually got a three D, uh, a best of three that has gone one a piece. No, no, where? Um, rather than a two O. So uh, this is kind of um, cool. I uh, wouldn't like to call it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't like to call it. So uh, both players uh, showing a little bit of variety in play. Um, I feel like random banana still in, in both games kind of built a bit of everything and what you need to do is like decide on something um decide on a tech path and go for it you know go blink stalkers definitely and build a lot of blink stalkers um go gateway for sure go templar you know get the splash damage from storm go robo go one of those things um or stargate uh don't don't go all of those things because you spread yourself too thin and you don't really have enough of anything to be super effective um that's what i would suggest again random banana going for this incredibly early forge and i don't like it to be honest uh in in general you know upgrades are okay um upgrades as in like your your plus one attack plus one armor they're all right and they they do build up that you know they shouldn't be your priority early game uh, your priority needs to be your economy uh, and getting units out on the map and scouting um, really is the single most important thing you can do. Uh, upgrades are a mid-game sort of thing. Around the mid-game, that's when you want to start getting your upgrades going. That's when you want to make sure that you're not behind in upgrades. Um, early, you know, really early in the game, uh, if you've put money into upgrades, you have too big a disparity in the numbers of units to make those upgrades worthwhile. By the mid-game, you know, you know, let's say, let's say it's TVT and you're in the early game, four marines ahead instead of having plus one well you know if, if you've got eight marines and your opponent's got four that the plus one isn't helping your opponent um by the mid game if you've got 64 marines compared to his 60 well then the plus you know the 60 plus one definitely makes the difference so it's all about like that proportionality uh shifting as the game goes on um early game upgrades nah you're better with an extra unit uh, if, you, if you think of the percentage difference one extra unit makes this stage in the game um, uh, and that doesn't cost as much as an upgrade compared to the small percentage difference that the upgrade makes um, so yeah don't don't uh, don't be rushing to get um, plus one attack uh, etc um, another little note if you're playing against a marine heavy style a plus one armor is definitely the go-to and if you're playing a marine heavy style uh, plus one attack is definitely the first thing you should be getting uh, but more important upgrades are uh, combat shield and stim for your marines more important upgrades are uh, blink or charge for your zealots stalkers and uh, gloves if you're going adept uh, we haven't really seen adept play uh, and uh, that's kind of fair enough adepts require a bit of micro they you kind of have to think a lot what about what you're doing um, i'm loving the observer but I, i'd love it more if it was here <laughs> um observers are great they're cloaked they see things they, you know that they're a perfect way to scout your opponent they've got uh, a good vision range you can plant an observer here it will see all of this just make sure you don't fly it into the missile turret where you will die um you know so you do have to babysit your observer when you fly it into your opponent's base but with that said do fly it into your opponent's base uh, because look there's no detection in the men an observer could be parked here it would see exactly what tech is being built uh, with three racks it's going to be marine heavy again i feel um, and why not you know marine siege tank is a, a, a fantastic army composition um got to make sure you've got enough medevacs to heal up those marines so that you can spam that stim button uh willy-nilly this uh, single medevac load up i feel is a mistake um but we'll see uh you know i'd love for it not to be i'd love to think will is going to attack the front with most of his units and fly the medevacs in around the back uh i fear though no oh please no that's a medevac full of marines just dead for free and not none of your marines have got medevac support um honestly though uh it, it actually doesn't matter because the army is just so big for the terran that he is just going to walk this um so yeah lots of production here for the protoss in terms of robos um and that's great but two templar archives that isn't great 
Uh, but not really enough getaways, and, and Colossus is what you need against these Marines, and there are no Colossus. So I sort of feel like um, Random Banana hit an anti-timing will hit effectively a pretty much perfect timing, because, you know, that was a three best Protoss, and I feel like had you left Random Banana alone for about another two minutes, um, he would have had a pretty terrifying army. Um, the Robo Support Bay was done. There was four robotics facilities on the map. Was there four? Yeah. Um, there could have been two temp. You never, only one. It's a, it's a technology building. It doesn't build stuff. You, you only need one. Um, so, you know, had Random Banana started cranking out Colossus four at a time with the three base income uh, and, and more sort of charged zealots at the front to tank, um, it's a great composition against um, Marine Siege Tank. Uh, and I'll, well, I'll tell you for why, you know, Siege Tank's sieged up at the back, um, Marines stim in, uh, the charged Zealots get on top of the Marines and the splash damage from the Siege Tank kills the Marines faster than the Zealots because Zealots are tough and they've got shields and stuff. Uh, so there's that. The Zealots get in the way of the Marines so the Marines can't stim forward to fight the Colossus and the Colossus do that splash damage in a line, um, which is great against light units and these Marines without combat shield would melt ever so quickly against that. Um, and of course the Colossus outrange Marines by like about a half a screen or something, you know. So um, it doesn't really require much micro. Uh, charge lock Zella is good composition. Um, Immortals are really tanky units, very pack a big single punch, not great against Marines, very good against Marauders. So in general, you do want to have a couple of those in your composition because if I'm the Terran and I see that you're going Colossus, I increase my Marauder to Marine ratio so that the Marauders are tough, they don't die to the splash damage and they're able to focus on the Colossus. Um, so the, the Immortals are a good counter too. That's a, you know, you, you want a couple of Immortals in the back just thumping out that constant damage as well. Um, uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's not what occurred. Um, good. Uh, so uh, yeah, yeah. Will um, goes two one, and um, yeah, GG.